Hey everyone, this is Rochelle for Multiple Passive Streams of Income. I know it's been a while, but today's video, I want to show you how to transfer XRP from Binance to Coinbase. Always check the description of my videos because I always add a timeline to help you find the info that you need without having to listen to the entire video. Now, the reason why I'm transferring my XRP from Binance to Coinbase is Currently, I do have a nano ledger, but I don't have a laptop that has a USB drive. So I am unable to transfer my XRP onto my nano ledger at this time. Now, once I realize I could purchase XRP on Coinbase, I've, I feel better having my XRP all in one place. And I definitely feel better about having it in the USA versus China. And by the way, I live in New York and Coinbase now allows New York state residents to purchase XRP on their platform. So I'm not sure if this is possible for all states, but in New York state, which actually is usually the strictest state, probably if Coinbase is allowing New York state residents to purchase, it probably means that all, if not most states will have the same capability. First, log into both accounts, Binance and Coinbase. Also log into the email inboxes associated with both your Coinbase and Binance accounts. Now, for those of us who may have bought some XRP on Binance over a year ago and may not have checked out our accounts ever since, remember when you log into your Binance account, you may have to access your two-factor authentication through Google Authenticator or SMS authentication. And those are apps that are on your cell phone. And also remember for Coinbase, if you haven't logged into that in a while, you may have the two-factor authentication code being sent to your cell phone. So you'll have to take that code and enter it into the Coinbase screen in order to log in. Okay, now once you've logged into both accounts, let's go to Binance first. In Binance, you wanna go to funds and then withdrawals and find your XRP wallet. In Coinbase, go to accounts and find your XRP wallet. On your XRP wallet in Coinbase, click receive. And that's gonna show you your wallet info which you're gonna to need to copy and paste to Binance. When you click receive, you're gonna get a pop-up box warning that only XRP can be sent to an XRP wallet. And if you don't do this correctly, any other cryptocurrency will be permanently lost. So that's the first warning. After you click, I understand, you'll get another pop-up explaining you need to send your XRP to Coinbase with both an address and a tag. Now, it also explains that if the tag is put in wrong, your funds cannot be credited to your account. So even though I love crypto and all that it stands for as far as decentralization and privacy, I, I mean, like making these transactions and possibly messing it up is always scary, no matter how many times I do it. But rest assured with this video, you should be okay. Once again, click I understand. And now you're going to be shown your XRP wallet info and tag. Remember, we need both of these pieces of information. Notice the box that I'm looking at says receive XRP. So I know that in order to receive XRP on Coinbase, I'm going to need to take these two pieces of information over to Binance. And also to the right of each piece of information, each line of information, there are copy buttons to the right of the address in the tag. And this is going to ensure that I copy each piece of information correctly versus manually highlighting the info inside each field and mistakenly not highlighting the entire line of info or, mistake, or mistakenly capturing spaces when I do manual highlighting. So, so I suggest always using those copy buttons to the right of each piece of info. 
So now you're going to be copying each of these two lines of info individually and pasting them into Binance. Now let's go over to Binance. From your funds, withdrawals, XRP wallet screen, let's look at some details Binance provides. First note, 22 XRP is the minimum transfer you can do from Binance. I'm not sure if this will change, but currently as of May 19th, 2019, when I'm making this video, this is the minimum amount that Binance is, is requiring in order to do a transaction. This is important because you always, always, always should do a test transfer to make sure your transfer works before you do a bigger transfer. So that's what I'm going to be doing as my first transaction on this video. Now, next, notice the transaction fee for the 22 XRP minimum amount. Binance tells you this is going to cost you 0.25 XRP. So if you do a 22 XRP transaction, you will receive 21.75 XRP in Coinbase. The last thing I want to note is the maximum XRP you can transfer from Binance per day, which is two Bitcoins worth. So what this means for big ballers, you may have to make multiple day transfer to get all your Binance XRP over to Coinbase. And in all likelihood, most people are putting their transfers onto a actual nano ledger type wallet. But if you are thinking about moving everything over to Coinbase, if you have more than two Bitcoin worth of XRP, you would have to do this in multiple day transfers. Okay. So now what we want to do is we want to go back to uh, Coinbase and we want to copy and paste each piece of information, the wallet and the tag. Again, use the copy button to the right of the line of the information you want to copy. And you want to copy both lines of information from Coinbase do this individually into the applicable fields on Binance. Double and triple check the address and tag info to make sure they are identical. Once you are confident that the info is identical, click submit. Now Binance will request a two-factor authentication. Again, that's the code from your Google Authenticator or your SMS authentication that's located on your cell phone, you'll get that code and enter it into Binance. Then a pop-up box will appear telling you to check your email. Once you find that email, it tells you to please check your address letter by letter. Now I'm thinking this gives you a second chance if you did something incorrectly. I'm not sure of this, but maybe if you don't move to the next step by clicking um, the confirm button in the email, I'm thinking the transaction will time out and that'll give you a second chance. Again, I'm not sure, but it seems this will give you a second chance or at least another chance to recheck the wallet info. If the wallet address looks good, now we're going to click confirm withdrawal. Also note, this transaction is the 22 XRP minimum transaction I suggest everyone does first to make sure it reaches Coinbase successfully before you attempt a bigger transaction. After confirming withdrawal from the email sent by Binance, you may see another pop-up box in Binance confirming your withdrawal request. When you go back to Binance, on the funds, withdrawals, XRP wallet page, you will see a history pane to the right of the screen. And as you refresh, you will see the status of your withdrawal transaction. When the transaction is complete, it took a few minutes, you will see your XRP in Coinbase on the accounts XRP wallet page. Make sure to refresh these pages to see new status info on each. You also will get a confirmation email from Coinbase. 
Now, after I completed the 22 XRP minimum transaction, I completed a second transaction to move my remaining 1,726.40 XRP from Binance to Coinbase. I noticed that the transaction fee remained the same, which is 0.25 XRP. Now with that said, XRP's price was about 40 cents at the time that I made these two transactions. And both transactions cost me a total of 0.50 XRP, right? The first one charged me 0.25 XRP, and the second one, even though it was more XRP, cost me the same 0.25. So in total, I paid 0.50 XRP. So that amounts to about 20 cents total for these two trades. Um, and this is, again, is based on the 40 cent XRP at the time of me doing this, these two transactions. So the only thing I ask from you guys is if you can do me a favor, first of all, hopefully you found the info useful and it allows you to utilize it to transfer XRP from other platforms as well as Binance over to Coinbase. But if you could please add a comment and let me and others following this channel know how much it costs you to transfer XRP to Coinbase. I'm curious to know how much other exchanges are charging and if the total XRP will change as the price of XRP changes. I'm really curious to find this out. As always, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and click the notification button for future videos. Take care.